Huawei Demos 5G Uplink Downlink Decoupling Tech Huawei and EE's 5G test site Huawei has demonstrated separate Uplink Downlink LDL decoupling technology across a 5G LTE network deployment in London as part of its strategic partnership with BT and EE. The trial network includes 5G New Radio, 5G NR, and LTE co-site deployments, separating LDL onto different bands. According to Huawei, this improves coverage and capacity across the C-band by using 4G bands to carry 5G uplink data. In the 5G era, the available bands for operators will increase, and the coverage of higher bands such as C-band will become a major barrier to deployment. To solve this problem, networks need to make use of multi-band coordination to eliminate higher band coverage bottleneck, Huawei 5G product line president Yang Chabin said. 5G LDL decoupling effectively enlarges C-band coverage to achieve C-band and 1.8 GHz co-site deployment with the same coverage, reducing the 5G site investment. The joint test result with BTEE is a good proof of this. While this marks the first public demonstration of the technology, Huawei has also been working with Intel on 5G LDL decoupling technologies in Beijing. The 3GPP standards group has already accepted LDL decoupling, with the technology to become standardized in release 15 that I am in at the end of next year. Huawei last month also announced the completion of dual connectivity technology verification during a 5G trial with Korean telco LG U Plus in Seoul, providing 20 Gbps downlink speeds by simultaneously linking two 5G base stations. The trial took place using a 3.5 GHz base station and a 28 GHz base station at an LG U Plus test base in the Korean capital, with Huawei saying that the dual connectivity solution can also be used to link 4G and 5G base stations. Dual connectivity is a technique that allows multiple base stations to transmit data simultaneously or alternately to a user so that they can seamlessly communicate with other users when moving between base stations, Huawei explained in October. LG U Plus had previously tested the technology in a lab environment between two 4G base stations. This time, LG U Plus and Huawei successfully completed the verification between 5G base stations and also set up a foundation for future 4G 5G dual connectivity in a 4G 5G heterogeneous network, Huawei added. Huawei has been trialing 5G with carriers worldwide, in January attaining speeds of around 35 Gbps with Singaporean telco Starhub and M1. The Starhub trial was conducted using 2 GHz at the E-band, which sits between the 60 GHz and 90 GHz frequencies, using three layers of E-band, as well as 64 quadrature amplitude modulation, CAM. The M1 lab trial was conducted at M1's main operating center in Jurong, and made use of wave spectrum in the 73 GHz E-band as well as 4x4 MIMO. To component carrier, 2cc, hyplink carrier aggregation, 3cc tri band downlink carrier aggregation, and higher order modulation 256 chem. Huawei, which plans to help implement 5G networks by 2020, similarly achieved speeds of 35 Gbps during a 5G trial with Australian telecommunications provider Optus in November last year which was likewise conducted over the 73 GHz wave spectrum band using the polar code coding mechanism. Intel unveils 5G modem suite Intel has announced its XMM8000 series 5G NR modem suite, with the first modem to be available commercially in mid-2019, while also saying it has enabled 5G calls over its Gold Ridge 5G modem unveiled at CES 2017. AT&T Minneapolis 5G network set for 2017 completion Minneapolis will be kitted out with AT&T's 5G evolution network using LTE advanced technologies by the end of the year, with its stadium to see distributed antenna system, DOS, upgrades by the time it hosts the Super Bowl. 
QLA focuses on making smart cities safe with IoT using Internet of Things, IoT, solutions and new technology applications to make cities safer is a key part of smart cities deployments, QLA has said, pointing to its work in Longyang District, China. How 5G could add $533B to U.S. economy by 2024, Tech Republic, investing in a 5G network could lead to $1.2 trillion in long-term consumer benefits, according to the American Consumer Institute Center for 